Okay, hey guys, I'm going to start a new video format today because I've been getting a little bored of just following the basic training tutorials. So I'm going to start a new format and hopefully you guys like it and you can still learn just as much from it. Uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with little clips here. So I'm going to do, once I'm done talking about what I'm going to do, I'm going to do it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, give you a clip of information, pause the video, come back with a different clip. So that way you get little snippets of what I'm doing throughout my development. Uh, this way you can actually see me as I work stuff out. If I come across a bug, I'll of course start the video again and show you what I found. But that way you don't have to spend you know hours and hours watching me develop or do a live stream or anything like that because that's not very time efficient for anyone. So I think this is going to be a good solution where I just start it, give a little welcome speech, and then pause and resume as necessary to show you what I'm doing as I deploy my apps and such. Now uh, I'm going to pull up my tablet here. So this is an app I've just deployed. It's this Flight Deck app that I actually just created over here, and I just deployed it on my device. Um, now, I have had issues in the past getting this bar to turn white. It's always been black, and it's driving me crazy. Uh, and I never previously knew why, and now I know why. So that's what I'm going to show you for you. That's what I'm going to show you guys for the first little clip here. Um, basically what it is, is it's always perplexed me because I create my app and I select Holo Light as the theme, but yet when I deploy it, it's always been black in the past. So I've come down here to Styles and said, hey, it's AppCompat.Light, so why is it giving me the dark action bar? Then I, you know, did some reading and looked at some forums, and I knew that these values, dash V11, V14, overrode the default on higher APIs, but I never bothered to look at them. And sure enough, this one was AppCompat Light. But this V14 was previously dot .light dot .dark action bar, and since my tablet's running higher than API version 14, it was using this style sheet, and it was retaining the dark action bar theme. So to me, this seems kind of like a bug in their uh, uh, developer tools here, almost, because it probably should change all of them to dot .light. And it skipped API 14 for some reason, but it's not a huge deal. You just come in here to delete everything after light, and there's going to be a dot and then another word there, you just delete it, and then you deploy it, and it comes in as a white uh, title bar like this. Okay, hey guys, I want to come back with another little tidbit here. Now, um, a minute ago I told you about how you change the title bar co uh, color, and now I'm trying to change the icon. Uh, I don't like their little Android guy. No offense to him, but I want my own icon there. Um, and another thing that's always perplexed me that I've never bothered to look up, but I'm looking up now because I'm trying to, you know, improve my knowledge of Android here, is what size you're supposed to make the different drawables. Because if I go over here, let me go find it in my folder for a minute, and then I'll uh, bring it into view. Let's see, I've got uh, my name, workspace, uh, flight deck, and I believe it's in resources, yeah. So this is the resources folder for my uh, application. Here's the whole thing, and you go into resources, and you have all these different drawables. And what you're supposed to do is use different size uh, bitmaps for the different sized screen densities so that everything looks properly, and icons and all that nice stuff. And I never knew what the proper sizes were, and now I know. If you come over here, let me bring this window in as well. I'll minimize that a little bit. It actually tells you LDBI should be 0.75% of the baseline, HDPI should be one and a half times the baseline, and XHDPI should be two times the baseline. And it says follow the 3, 4, 6, 8 scaling ratio, which is those percentages. And so it tells you pick the size you want and then come up with these four. Now one thing I'm curious about, let's come back over here, is it has things listed for low, medium, high, and extra high. So if we come in here, there is an extra, extra high. Um, I don't think there's a low, though. There isn't. So I'm going to actually follow their scheme, because if this is their default project, I'm assuming this is probably the best way to do it. So what I'm going to do is not use LDPI, ever. I just don't think it needs to be done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one that's the XHDPI size, and then cut it in, what is that, two-thirds, three-halves? Um, the size of, uh no, it's not three halves. Well, I guess it is three-halves, but it's, I guess it would be two-thirds. Um, no, three-fourths, that's where it is, okay. So I'm going to make this one, and then HDPI is going to be three-fourths of this one, and MDPI is going to be half. Hey. Okay. 
Sorry about that. That was um, someone I was talking to. Um, so what I'm going to do is just make um, x HCPI, then this will be 3 fourths, and this will be 1 half. That will give you 2, 1 and a half, and 1. Now I am curious to know, what is x, x, h, d, x? It's not listed, so let's look at the dimensions are 144, and what it's saying is uh, m, d, p, i should be the baseline. So if we go to x, h, d, p, i, this is 96, which is I'm assuming m, d, p, i is going to be half of that, which it is, 48. So what, how many times does 48 go into, let's do this here. So what did I say it was 144 divided by 48? Let's see if this is an even number here. It is, it's 3. Okay, so I'm going to include the XX HDPI as well, and it looks like it's three times. So I'm going to be doing a baseline, an HDPI, an XHDPI, and an XX HDPI. Uh, it's actually not listed on their support page here, which is interesting, but, you know, a little bit of math, and we can figure out that it's three times the baseline. So my plan when I make my icon is going to be to use these sizes. Okay, I just wanted to come back and uh, finish up and show you guys where I'm at. This is probably going to be the last update for this particular video. Um, I've gone ahead and, as you can see here, done some work with my application. Uh, updated my icon. It's a little propeller. I uh, haven't done much work with the action bar yet. Still not going to play with styling that, but I just wanted to get something customized up there. Uh, started playing with the layout quite a bit. Um, I'm pretty happy with this layout. I'm going to show you guys how I did this in code. I um, actually haven't touched anything in the Java class at all yet. Everything has been in the XML files. Uh, I went over here in strings and I added some uh, custom strings. Um, this is where I updated my icon. Uh, styles you guys saw I was playing with earlier. Uh, nothing changed in there. And nothing changed in my menu file either. So the only thing that's changed is this XML file that I've done quite a bit. Uh, the first thing I did is I made the root element a linear layout because I just do not like the relative layout. Uh, I like linear layouts and grids and all that stuff better. I think it's better for positioning. Uh, so I made the primary element a linear layout. Um, I then added three sublinear layouts, and the primary one is horizontal, and all these sub ones are vertical. So you basically have three columns. Um, what I've done is I've set the weight to one and the width to zero dp, and I've done that same scheme for the other ones, but with different weights. And basically, what that does is it, you if you add up all the weights and take the weight of a specific item and divide by that total, it gives you the percentage of screen width it's going to use up. So the total of one, two, and one is four. So this is going to use up one-fourth, this is going to use up two-fourths, and this is going to use up one-fourth. So you have 25, 50, and 25 percent. Uh, gravity, I have center vertical to make sure that the content inside is centered vertically, if, assuming it doesn't take up the whole space. Uh, height, I have match parent, and orientation, I have vertical. I already specified that. This one's pretty much exactly the same. This one is also pretty much exactly the same. Uh, I have different content inside each one. Though. The first and uh, third column are basically the same. I have four toggle buttons in each one. Nothing special there, just a width and a height. And same thing down here, just a width and a height, except down here I've had to specify layout gravity right. Uh, the default is left, but without that right, what was happening was these four buttons were actually being shifted to the left. As you can see over here, they fall to the left. The same thing was happening, so it was disproportionate. So I did a uh, gravity right and forced them off to the right. And this column in the middle here, as you can see, takes up 50% of the width. Um, so let's come look at this one. All we really have is uh, center vertical again. Make sure it takes up the center of the screen vertically. And then we have three text views. Uh, really nothing special there. Just uh, text alignment center and layout gravity center horizontal to make sure everything's centered up. Um, and then I'm just referencing three string variables that I created. I showed you guys that a second ago. Um, the only other thing special here is the text size. You use 28 SP instead of DP. Um, I think I covered in the previous tutorial. You use DP when specifying layout widths to make sure it scales up and down properly with the different resolutions. For text size, you use SP. So I have 28 SP for all of these. Actually, I'm probably going to do 24. I don't quite like 28. It's a little bit big. So let's do this and come back over here. Yeah, I like that a little bit better. Um, I kind of want to put some spacing underneath that one, but I'm going to play with this more. Um, but this pretty much concludes this tutorial. I've covered, you know, several things. Um, let me know how you guys like the new format. Please uh, like, subscribe, and there will be more videos coming out in the future. Thanks. Bye.